So, does the wood make it good? Let's find out with our mango habanero. We, if you recall from our mango habanero video, we oaked some of it with some of that French oak that we liked oh so much from Barrel Char Wood Products, by the way. And um, we just poured a little bit out. Now, there's the one that had oak in it. There's the one that didn't. And this was oaked on, oh, it's like a month and three days. So it's a little over four weeks. Now, first off, you will notice there's a clarity difference. And that's because, well, the wood is still in there. So it's going to add a little bit of extra haze to that brew. And just in mixing it up and stirring it around, whatever, it's going to do that. Don't worry. You can't taste clarity. Okay, so this is the regular, this is the oaked version. As a control, let's taste the regular version first. Go for it. Ladies first. Oh, I'm going first. Yes, you're going first, because it's how we do things around here. <sighs> Chivalry is not dead. Now, we liked the mango habanero. This was really good stuff. I know, I've already smelled this, but I'm smelling it again. It's okay. It's part of the enjoyment process when you're taking a sip of stuff, drinking it, and tasting it. Hmm. Now, there was something interesting that we noticed mm. in pouring it, and you may be able to it's see Got a little it. bit of bubbling going on. It's ever so slightly petulant. And what that... Did I say it right? Petulant. Petulant. Close. I'm, I'm, I'm in petulant. Yes, yes. This is petulant. Um, and what that means is that it's barely carbonated there's just a ever so yeah, tiny bit little bit of effervescence this one i'm going to gonna doubt has any because of everything that's been done to it and so i i get that a little bit in the the flavor but it, it's very light it's nothing yeah. dangerous particularly if you use a swinging top because it's going to release yeah. anything that and needs the, to be that's released. the weak spring spring yeah. top. so yeah um and they're made for carbonation but that was that was interesting I uh, did not clear my palate, so that was that counts as my short sip, right? Sure. Whatever you need to do. This isn't an official tasting. This is just a showing the difference. I'm going to taste this one first since you've been talking. Ooh. Vastly different. Vastly different. I'll explain more after she takes a sip. It's interesting. Today, I'm not enjoying the, the regular one nearly as much as I was when we did the original tasting. I know. I am not as e either, and so I'm trying to remember. It's a lot less sweet. It's got a, a harsher, a little bit of harsher flavor. I'm still getting the cap smell. Oh, yeah. The heat comes through. A fine. Bit, but it goes away quick. But it's it not... feels like the mango is kind of diminished. Yep. Might just need to sit. I, it's it's the wood that makes it good. We're waiting. What movie is that from? There's vanillin. There's a little bit of caramel. There's even almost a marshmallow added to this that really bumps it up that extra notch. Really makes this much nicer. It smells right from the get-go infinitely better than mm -hmm. this one does. Um, oh, yeah. It is definitely still. That one is not petulant. Uh, and at first, I was mm, like... Very different. Mellowed. Oh, it's, it's very mellow. It's very chill. But then on the finish, I'm like, oh, there's all those candy, yet still the capsaicin. Yeah. And... All right, that's, this is nice. That's this is really pretty cool, nice. and because of the the candy notes, it kind of reminded me of a whiskey. And I'm yeah. trying to think which category of whiskey, which means I have to drink more for science. I'd say a Tennessee whiskey or a bourbon. It's it's definitely in the in that range, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's virgin French oak, so. But that French oak is a reused French oak, too. It was used in a standard traditional. So it would have had some traditional flavors already, the a little bit of orange zest and a raisiny flavor, maybe. And I'm detecting just a, just a hint of that in here, but not, not a tremendous amount. 
Overall, it's much better. I'm not going to make the joke, but you know what I'm thinking about. I don't know what you're thinking. It's okay. Um, I honestly have no idea. You said it was virgin French oak, and then you said, but we've actually used it before. Oh, well. Yeah, then it's not virgin anymore. Anywho. Um, <laughs> Whoops. So I, I, I wanted it to be like, oh, that's so much better, but I it's can't. A, it's it's better. I can't say that it's so much better. I can say that they stand. They're different. They have their own merits. And that's the thing that's interesting about oaking is it doesn't necessarily just improve a brew. It changes it. It makes it yeah. into its own thing, and yeah. that's why I like doing this with some brews to give an, a different indication. And that's what this is all about. Um, I'll probably take the wood out of this and put it in a bottle and let it age along with the other stuff. And in like a year, maybe we'll taste that next to the one year tasting and see yeah. how that wood aging did sure. for it. I might just leave it on the wood a little bit while, a little while longer, a few more weeks, see if we can get a little bit more out of it. But overall, I mean, I'm kind of impressed. The, yeah. the, the products from Barrel Char Wood Products, and this is not really an ad for them. Okay, don't get me wrong. Even though there'll be a link to their products below, we actually don't get anything for you buying their products. No. They've sent us a few things and that's about it. Yep. But um, just let them know that we sent you and that's thanks enough. Yep. Their products are really, really good. They hand choose the wood that they use. And I think that makes a big difference rather than just any random wood and then they just throw it in a kiln or whatever they do. Yeah, and it's they funny do a, because a better job we don't know anything about the yeah. process of charring wood and I've really not gotten properties. into it at all. But but I have a feeling I'm going to. Bef Bearded and Bored is going to make me do it. I just know it. I see it coming. He's already hinted at it. But before, in the before times, before there was barrel char in our lives, we thought, wood is wood, right? You just throw wood in there, and as long as it's the particular type of wood, it's going to have that essence to it, and everything's wonderful. All wood is not the same. It's not created equal. Yeah, so don't just go folks. out in your backyard and chop down an oak tree and throw it in your meat, because it's not going to be the same. It's really not at all. And we even experimented with commercial products for oak aging. And they didn't seem to do and a lot. And they were just kind of like, eh, meh, meh. It was okay. And then there was barrel char. It changed everything. <laughs> I would say this made it, if I had to say like difference, it's like 20 to 30% different. Yeah. It's not tremendously different. You still know that it's, it's the mango habanero mead, but it's... A little well, bit this, different. This is like, okay, this... It's hard to compare these two, though, because of being pedalant. Still capscamel, even with the pedalant mm -hmm. essence, even with the, the lesser man mango. I think I want that sweeter now. It's still a capscamel, without mm -hmm. any question. Where this starts pushing it into different flavor arenas. Yeah. Where it's like capscamel plus bourbon, or capscamel yeah. plus... Oh, yeah. Something else. I totally see that. Um, and that's why I can't say, this is the good one and this is the good one. It's like, oh, no, no they're, they're, both, they're good. both good. They're just different creatures now. Yes, exactly. So we can babble about this all day. Yeah. But we're going to try to not babble anymore. <laughs> Instead, I'm just going to leave this for a little while, bottle it, and in a year, we will do another side-by-side -side of the Mango Habanero. But... Thanks for watching this video to this point, and we do appreciate your support. And if you like this video, look up. There's another video up there. You might like that one, too.